I wanted to do a tectonic plates video until I found out that no one in YouTube has talked about Marie Tarp. Like, yeah, we don't like it, right? She was born and raised in Michigan. She studied English and music, but when World War II happened, she studied geology. She worked with an oil company. It was her first job with geology. And then she went to Columbia. She was at Columbia University with Hisen. While Hisen was traveling, she was drafting everything that he was selling her. So this is why type is so important. Before her, we used to think that the sea floor it was like this, flat. Uh, and then she comes and she does her wonderful work, her wonderful drafts, and she says, no, it's not flat. I found that cleft. Actually, I think it's a reef valley. And when she told uh, his and that, he was like, that's girl's talk. That's not true, do it again. And she was like, okay, I'll do it again. And she did it again. And the cliff was still there. Then she talked with a peer that was checking on earthquakes. And apparently the cliff zone was the epicenter of a lot of earthquakes. So this is when Winnegar comes and he says, Hey, that's what I was telling you guys. That's what I was trying to say. Apparently the Rift Valley was shifting apart. It was moving. And that was kind of proven uh, Winnegar's theory. I'm sorry, Winnegar, because no one believed in you. Whenever you are, you were right. Long story short, Kaysen talked at Princeton University talking about their theory and has told them that, that he was changing geology. They also got published by National Geographic and also they won like important science prizes after Kaysen's death. But Marie kept doing her part in the geology field until she died in 2006. It wasn't long ago. She was brave. And she was behind a lot of geologists, male geologists, by that time. And we should appreciate her more. We should have her like a role model, because that's what she is. So I'm glad I could make a video about her. And thank you so much for this opportunity.